Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to accountancytube.com. Uh, now this is just an introduction to ACCA paper F2 which is management accounting and if you're following a foundation of accountancy FIA qualification then uh, it is also relevant for FMA paper uh, which is foundation of uh, management accounting. Now if uh, you're watching this lecture then obviously I will assume that you're new to accountancy tube and you're new to this structure and uh, this style of teaching and uh, studying ACCA. Now here at Accountancy Tube we provide free uh, accountancy notes to students of ACC and SEMA as well. So you will be able to download the ACC F2 notes or FIA FMA notes which are exactly the same because syllabus of FMA and uh, ACC F2 is exactly the same. So you'll be able to download free notes uh, which are sh very short as compared to the traditional textbooks even if it is Kaplan, BPP or whichever. Uh, although they are very good uh, but they are very very comprehensive so they are very very uh, lengthy to grasp the knowledge uh, in the short period of time so our notes are very very short uh, roughly 100 pages uh, as compared to the 700 pages of the textbook so although these are very short notes but it doesn't mean that they does not cover the whole syllabus they are more than enough for you to pass the exam or we can say you can easily get the position as well you can get the 100 marks as well in F2 exam uh, by following our lecture notes which you, which you can download in F2 section or FIA FMA section uh, on our website which is accountancytube.com now what else we provide we provide uh, we provide free uh, ACC lectures as well so uh, this is just just an introduction to uh, this paper and uh, there will be following lectures as well uh, which you can uh, watch on our website. They are all of them are free of course so we do not charge anything uh, for, for our free uh, ACCA lectures. And uh, apart from that we have uh, Accountancy Tube uh, YouTube channel so you can follow our YouTube channel because that's where our uh, you know server is that's where our videos are uploaded and we uh, connect it to our website uh, where you can watch. And now why I say you should subscribe to our YouTube channel is because whenever new videos are uh, available, whenever new videos are published uh, on the YouTube, you will be the first one to know. So if you're following me uh, you know, gradually, then you will be able to know when the new video is available on the YouTube. So you will be the first one to know when any exam tips are available, if I have uh, given any exam tips. So they will be uploaded in the YouTube and whenever we publish them, you will be the first one to uh, know that new video is available by Accountancy Tube. So that's why you won't be able, you won't miss anything from Accountancy Tube really. So that's the benefit. Uh, we have a Facebook page as well, so which you can follow and uh, we, there will be uh, updates uh, on that as well. There are guys who are managing our Facebook page, so they will be notifying you about any updates on our website or any new things available, uh, new offers or anything like that so you will be able to uh, see them on the Facebook as well. Now apart from these lectures and uh, uh, free notes we, uh, uh, we have a mock exam scheme as well. <coughs> Excuse me, after watching our lectures, all the lectures, when we finish our ACCF2 syllabus or FMA syllabus, uh, then if you, are, uh, if you are prepared well and if, if you think that you have now covered your syllabus, you have uh, completed the notes, you've completed the lectures, if you want to have a test uh, if you want to test your knowledge, then you can register your mock with Accountancy Tube. You just have to drop an email to admin at the rate of accountancytube.com or just visit the mock section of our website, mock tab, and uh, you'll have to pay a nominal fee for that. Then when you submit that mock, then what happens is that uh, we will send you a mock exam through email and then you'll have to attempt it in the exam conditions and then you'll have to uh, send the uh, answers in the scan form back to us and then our team members will mark them and will give you some exam tips according to your performance so they will be uh, specific to different students so uh, each exam answer which you send us it will have separate reports specifically designed for you so the marker will give you exam tips that where you can improve which areas you are weak in and so that when you go to a real exam you are well prepared you know your weaknesses already because you have already given the test it's just a nominal fee and it's optional as well we do not uh, you know bound you to buy this so it's just an option 
it doesn't mean that if you uh, if you do not appear for exam you cannot uh, if you do not appear for mock you cannot go for a real exam of course you can do but it's just an option because we receive too many emails asking uh, you know student asking that if they can sit any mock exams uh, before they go for real exams so that they will have uh, confident that they have sat in a mock exam as well uh, a test as well so that uh, they can go in the exam hall confidently all right so that's that was about our accountancy tube structure and uh, of this uh, thing as well about uh, you know our youtube page and facebook and all that uh, i am uh, faisal farooq and i'll be teaching you this paper and a couple of other exams as well you might see me in other exams as well i'm qualified accountant and i'm teaching from quite many years and uh, recently uh, you know through accountancy tube and uh, so uh, the way we uh, study here, because you are for the first one, uh, you, are the, you are here for the first time, uh, I will you know, teach you through this whiteboard here. Uh, I will try to explain the concepts here. And if there is need to explain on the board, then I will do that as well. I will share the screen with, through my iPad on your screen. So whatever the notes which you have, uh, uh, which you can download from our website, I will have them in my hand through my iPad. So I will be going through the notes and I will share the screen with you as well. So you will be able to see the, that notes, them notes on the, on the screen. So I'll be following the notes and we will be together, we will be following the notes. So that way uh, we will try to make it a real classroom uh, apart from one uh, drawback uh, or you can say shortfall, uh, which, which we do not have here because if I, it is a live classroom, uh, like I used to teach, uh, what happens is that uh, if you are sitting live in the class, then you can raise your hand or you can say, I have this problem in that question. Now the drawback here is that you cannot say it. So I just have to assume uh, that you might have that question in your mind. So that is a little, uh, little problem in the recorded lectures. So I will try to overcome it. I will try to assume that you do not know anything about it. And I will try to answer as many, uh, as many questions as I can from the different uh, minds. So, uh, you know, I will try to answer them. All right. So that's uh, enough, I think. Now let's move to our topic, which is our management accounting. All right. Now, management accounting, if you haven't studied it before, uh, you, if, if you have come through that degree level, you might, you might have seen cost accounting or you might have seen management accounting. Uh, or if you haven't seen it at all, don't worry. We will still start from the scratch, from the zero level. So I will try to teach this subject, this interesting subject in a very common way in a very general way so you won't be studying this you won't, you won't be thinking that it's a tough subject which you have to cover it's very interesting and very easy subject and we'll try to do it in an easier way as well all right now if you're coming through FIA qualification some of you might be coming through FIA qualification you have seen two subjects related to F2 related, related to this, this subject uh, you have seen uh, MA1 um, managing uh, information and uh, MA2 which is managing costs and finances now MA1 and MA2 are basic level papers so MA1 was just a tiny bit then MA2 and now this big daddy this management accounting uh, that we have to study together now management accounting there are two types of basically management uh, there are two types of accounting one is management accounting another one of financial accounting you might have seen something like uh, something uh, like cost accounting in your previous studies or from you might have heard from your friend a uh, cost accounting now if you look at the whole ACC structure there is no subject called cost accounting in whole ACC curriculum <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, it doesn't mean that we don't study cost accounting. Now, basically, this paper which we are studying now, management accounting, it is more to do with cost accounting. It is not a management accounting, basically, uh, although its name is management accounting. But if we look at the curriculum, if we look at the subject titles, the topics which we, we which, which we were studying in it, they are more relevant to the costing uh, than management accounting because it is a management accounting is a broader term. Cost accounting is just a a uh, little branch of management accounting all right so i've told you that if you have come through fia qualification you have seen ma1 and ma2 and if you have come through degree level you might have seen accounting in your earlier studies if you haven't that's fine we we will study from the scratch all right so our uh, paper name is management accounting management accounting as i said 
uh, management accounting is a daddy and uh, its kid name is cost accounting so cost accounting is just a tiny bit it's just a portion of management accounting uh, which we will study in it uh, most of the stu uh, most of the stuff which we will study is basically a cost accounting in this paper all right so that is management accounting if we have come through FIA level you have seen two papers which are MA1 and MA2 so MA1 and MA2 MA2 now this is FIA if you have come through FIA level uh, FIA way then you have come straight to this paper now say for example if you have if you're coming from ACCA level ACCA way then you are coming to this paper and it is called F2 but here it is called FMA now basically it is exactly the same paper but its name was uh, you know the name are different but basically these are exactly the same thing All right so we have talked about this paper we've talked about myself and we've talked about uh, we've talked about this uh, uh, accountancy tube as well now let's talk about the exam itself how the exam will look like now this is a CBE basically a computer-based exam and uh, there will be uh, and it is objective as well so that is to some people it is an advantage and to others it, they say you know it's not a uh, not a good option we should uh, write them instead of just having few options to select choose from so it's not a good way but you know I think personally I think it's a it's a good way yeah uh, there's a possibility uh, you know, there are four options given to you, so it's for for us it is easier to choose the best option from them. Uh, on the, in the other case, if you do not have any option given, then you have to make your own option. So I think this this one is easy. So you should take it easy. Now, how the exam looks like? Basically, there are 35 uh, questions, which are two marks each, and they are just uh, objective type questions. Uh, so which you have to answer. They could be. Uh, you know true and false there could be four options given to you they will be fill in the blanks which on which you have to put some figures in so they, they are uh, you know uh, 35 questions and two marks each so altogether they are is 70 marks now other three more uh, sorry other 30 marks so there are uh, three questions and there are 10 marks each and it comes to 30 now these three questions these are also you know the small questions uh, but basically uh, these are three big questions in which there will be small questions in them so there will be three scenarios basically so it will give you this much big scenario and after reading that scenario he will ask you you know small bits of questions and he will say you read that scenario and answer me these questions now that will be one scenario then another scenario and the third one as well so there will be three different scenarios which you have to read and after every scenario there will be few questions which you have to answer and every scenario will give you uh, 10 marks so altogether there are three scenarios 30 marks and uh, if we total them and uh, these are 100 marks right and as you know in all ACC exams so far 50% uh, is the pass mark so you have to uh, get the 50% marks uh, in order to get the pass mark all right so that was uh, how our exam looks like uh, you know 35 marks and uh, sorry 35 questions of two marks each and another uh, you know three scenarios for 10 marks each all right so that's our uh, management accounting and that's our accounting tube as well so i will see you in the next video and we will start our uh, first topic first chapter uh, on you know uh, of, of management accounting all right Thank you very much and goodbye.